Hello everyone I hope you must doing well so welcome to this video and in this video we are going to study about the mask modifier all right so as you can see so let's on the screen cast first yeah so as you can see uh, we are having under the modifier panel we are having a mask modifier and under that mask modifier we are having a vertex group and that vertex group is selected as a mask right so we needed to understand why mask is selected and from where this mask vertex group is coming right so if i come over here that is object data property and under the object data property we are having a option or the property that is called the vertex group and under that property we are having a mask modifier all right so if i add different uh, vertex group over here so whatever vertex group which is listed over here those all same vertex group going to be listed over here also right so if you are not aware about the vertex group then you can watch the previous video where i discussed about the vertex group or you can search in the search panel on the youtube channel that is called dr i render right so for now we can delete all these so this is the human character and over here the mask modifier is there right so the question is why this mask modifier is there right so if i remove the cloth over here we can see whatever part which get hidden by that cloth that is not right over here right and the use case of that mask modifier came in this place right so if i disable this mask modifier from here we can see the remaining part of that body get visible again right but why we needed to do that we needed to do that because uh, the part which is not visible that is under the cloth the mesh area right so that's why we needed the mask modifier okay so if i select these areas okay you can see uh, there is uh, some uh, vertex group selection right so if i explain you a bit more clear uh, over here right if i disable the mask modifier and if i go into the edit mode right and if i select right so these areas are get selected right so why these area get selected because we added a group and we assigned these face areas as a mask right so the same a uh, vertex group we are selecting over here and if we are having the mask modifier then whatever faces we selected with those are get disappear right as those areas are not really visible in the render so that's why we are using the mask modifier all right so if i explain you in a simple words so i just added with a big rectangle that is called that is named as a big and uh, i had a small rectangle that is named as a small right so for now we can hide this pink one okay uh, regarding the viewport under this drop down by default probably you are set with the studio you can switch into the matte cap and you can use different shading pattern i am using this one and under the color i am using the random one so whatever new object i will add right that will be of new color right so that is a function of the random one and if i talk about the background uh, under the background by default it is set to theme but i prefer to use work in a black background so yeah black is the theme okay so for now we can hide this pink one and if i go into the edit mode so for now we are having this 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 and this and this right so these face areas we are having and we are having multiple number of subdivision over here right so if i again on this cube so what we want like uh, these areas are visible right for example if i go into the edit mode and we can select all these faces right by holding the shift we can select multiple areas okay at the same time yeah i think we selected with all yeah 
but some areas we are not selected with right and what are those areas if we hide this pink one then we can see this part is not selected right so if i go into the different shader so you can see uh, the part which is over here or the part which get hidden by this a uh, small rectangle that part we not selected and why we are not selected with that part because that part is not really visible right in the rendering or in the viewport okay so in that place we needed a mask modifier and in that place the use of mask modifier comes right so for now what we needed to what we needed to do uh, under you can select the object and under the object data property we are having a vertex group right so probably you are having nothing so we can add a new one right and you can name it anything right i am naming as a x y and z right or you can name it as a mask right okay so if i go into the edit mode so what option we have we can select either the zero values or we can select the either the one values right so why i am saying that so that i will tell you in a minute i think spelling is wrong no issue yeah so we selected with all these face areas and what we needed to do we needed to select and we needed to click on the assign right so whatever face areas we selected with those face areas are get assigned to this vertex group right and that uh, vertex group that we can use under the mask modifier right so where is the mask modifier if i go into the modifier property and here it is the mask modifier right so what does the mask modifier do or what does the term mask means right so if you really want to understand what is the masking so if i draw a rectangle over here right and there is a circle over here and we want to place the circle at the mid right but there is some texture over here on the rectangle shape but uh, we want the circle should be placed at the center right so how we can do that we can have that rectangle again we can place the circle and we can give the texture right but uh, whatever texture which is over uh, listed or visible over here which is also over here that will not be visible right now right because the circle is masking over this rectangular shape right so that is called the masking all right so we can erase the annotation or we can under the overlays we can Uh, disable or the hide the all the annotation right if we want to bring back then we need it to go back again right it's completely as simple as that yeah so again we selected with the uh, vertex group and we assigned these faces over here right but we didn't assign these faces right so under the vertex group whatever vertex uh, groups we are having over listed over here So same vertex group will going to be present over here, right? So don't get confused regarding like from where these uh, drop down option or the groups are coming, right? So we can select the mask modifier. Then you can see. Let's do it again. If we select the mask modifier, then you can see uh, the areas which we are not selected, right? Those are not visible right now, right? And that exactly we want. and if i bring back that cube let's have yeah so we can hide the pink one and this is what it is we can uh, on the shadow also yeah it's fine i think it is visible right uh, there is a hole in the mid of a rectangle shape so that area we don't want so that we removed by using the mask modifier right because those areas are not really visible in the viewport or even in the render right but initially i told you about the zero and the one value so at any case for example uh uh as we selected with all these face areas but what in that case like uh 
you only want this face area right so what probably you are going to do like you going to have the another group and you you gonna select uh, some face areas over here right i am selecting the face areas using the circle selection that you can get by pressing the c right so probably you are going to do that and you are going to list that group that is named as a group even over here right but that is a great option but there is the another opportunity we have in the blender like you you can have that before we go here like we are having a double arrow over here right so what it is giving it is just going to invert the selection right if you selected with zero then it will convert it into one and if you select it by the one then it will give you the zero right and what this uh, conversion means it is going to select the opposite of it right it is just uh, inverting whatever selection you are selected in this group right so i hope it is clear and if i click over here it is going to be represented as a, a blue color highlighted and you can see uh, whatever face areas we are not selected with right so those face areas are only visible right so we can see uh, that uh, we can use this option right so yeah so if i talk about this human character we can bring back because it's a bit dark yeah so over here also the same thing is there if we hide the cloth right and if we having this mask modifier over here we can disable the mask modifier for now and if i go into this and if i go into the edit mode and what we want we want that uh, this mask group is there right and what uh, face areas it is assigned right if you needed to check that then there is option for the select right so whatever face areas it that group is assigned you can select that by using this right and uh, also one thing that uh, that invert option is uh, it is using so just i explain you about the invert option so i hope uh, it is clear what is the mask modifier and how you can use the mask modifier and there are different threshold or the setting that you can experiment with it is just for example you usually add some mm, cylinder over here right and you by right click you can give the smooth one so the same thing is over here also but we don't really want to use the smooth one because uh, we can use the subdivision modifier external right don't require to use but at any case if you are using then you can use right so yeah i think it is clear what is the mask modifier and i hope that you got and you cleared in your mind so hoping that you like this video and if you like then do like share and subscribe and if any another topic is there then let me know till that bye bye Take care.